Um, can I ask you in relation to, and it's been touched on already in terms of the statutory objectives of the financial regulator, was the promotion of the financial services industry in Ireland. Can I ask how did the financial regulator's office reconcile the objective with its prudential role as regulator? With difficulty, I think. Uh, there was an, an issue that uh, we, we, we did always insist that the only way that we could promote uh, the idea of the financial services centre was that we were operating a stringent um, regulatory system that applied to all. And I insisted that if people went out, that's the only way we could promote it. Was there a two-track two regulatory system in place, one for the financial IFSC no, firms? No, I think there was a determination to have a, a one-track, a, a, a one and, and it might have been one of the reasons why we ran into problems with the uh, sectoral limits, where uh, we weakened our regime to a certain extent, I think, because uh, in the case of the financial centre, there were a lot of monoline banks where it would have been impossible to set sectoral limits. And as a result of that, it became a kind of a policy that we had to have the same system in both places. OK, can you clarify that a kind of a policy? Was there a policy within the financial regulator at the time that sectoral limits were being abandoned as a result of the monoline firms within the Irish Financial Services I, Centre? I can only, um, I can only um, say that the, while I was in the regulator at, at the time before 2003, when, when um, the Nyborg report states, I think, that uh, it's a footnote somewhere, that it, it, it had stopped long before, or sorry, the, the, the policy, if you like, was being abandoned long before the financial regulator came into office. Um, uh, I, I would have been there before that, so only, I can only give you the perspective there and, and the perspective. Uh, sorry, Mr. Reilly, I want your perspective. As financial regulator? From As financial the, regulator. From, sorry, just let me finish. Yeah. From the period that you were financial regulator, did sectoral limits exist or not is the first question, to be clear. And then the second thing is, did you apply those sectoral limits to all institutions, including institutions in the Irish Financial Services Centre? No, no, quite the opposite. Um, there were guidelines issued uh, and they applied, uh, it, it, it seems, and I've been following the, the, the debate here, uh, it, it, they seem to have been used, if you like. Did, did they exist first, is my first question. Did sectoral limits exist when you were financial regulator? When you took over in 2003, did sectoral limits exist? The guidelines were still around. So yes. they existed? Yes. Okay. Did you yes. apply them? Uh, and there were guidelines to banks, and they, they were not applied in the sense that they were rules that, that had to be obeyed. And, and just to say that in the second... Um, if somebody breached them, you would write to them flagging up that you've breached yes, the guidelines? Yes, that we notice that you've, you've okay. breached the limits. And did you, write, did you write to uh, firms within the Irish Financial Services Centre to, to, uh, on all occasions, if there were occasions where they breached those guidelines as well? No, what I'm saying is they never applied okay. to the IFC. Okay, you've told me that there was no two-tier regulatory system... Yes. We're correct. Yes. You told me that um, concentration limits existed when you were in 2003, but now you're telling me that they only existed for domestic banks and not for the no, IFSC. Uh, sorry. So that seems sorry. to me that there is a two-tier regulatory approach here. Well, what I'm saying really is that it was difficult to apply. Maybe, can I just go a little bit forward and then I'll come back. Uh, in 2004, I think it was, there was a move towards the Basel II limits, and there seemed to be a crossover between which system should be used. But at no stage were there mandatory limits. Well, aware of that, that okay. we, know, we understand. Uh, there were, but well, if you want to put it that way, uh, my understanding 
you know, and, and I'm only saying what my understanding is at the moment, would have been, in that sense, there would have been a two-tier two system. So there was, okay, in that sense, there was a two-tier yeah. system. 